Welcome. This movie is a discussion on the principles of defense in zones, and uh, we'll look at some examples of some video of some good zonal defending and some bad zonal defending. The first clip we have is uh, of a game for the United States men's national team against Trinidad and Tobago during the Olympic uh, World Cup qualifying, and uh, we quickly see that TNT here is playing zonally. They're playing a 4-4-2. It looks like across the midfield, the area here, that they're playing a flat zone across the midfield with four. And in the back, there's uh, four defenders as well. Ball's played in here on the bottom portion of the screen. And we're going to see here uh, in the area of the ball, they have a problem to solve here. They have two attackers. Okay, two white attackers coming against them, and not sure exactly what goes on, but there's a lack of communication on this vertical run, and that's one of the principles of good zonal defending is vertical runs are tracked. Uh, it's the horizontal runs or runs across the field that are passed on. So we see here a player making a uh, run towards goal, and they look like they're in a good position here. This defender could have just ran with that run and uh, dealt with that uh, penetrating run but I'm not sure if the communication was poor or what was going on but that vertical run was not tracked and it leads to disaster actually for the red team so there's an example of poor zone defending where uh, a vertical run was not tracked here we'll see the United States is playing a similar zonal structure. They've got four midfielders in midfield. They have four backs uh, defending. And here's one forward, and I think the other forward is up off the screen there. So they're in a 4-4-2 as well. And it's a pretty traditional 4-4-2. It's four across in the back and a four across in midfield based on the player characteristics. I think the coach felt that they could play uh, flat in both areas. You see the spaces between defenders are tight. There's not a lot of uh, wide open gaps in their defense. So all these spaces are tight across the field and also the gaps between the players between the lines, the midfield line and the back line is also pretty uh, tight. So from the front of the team here basically to the back of the team it looks like it's a good tight 25 yards and from uh, across the field left to right there also is good tight spaces zonal defending is ball oriented and space oriented so what's really important is the spaces between the defenders not necessarily where the attackers are but obviously the attackers have to be uh, taken under consideration for example this player here although far away from the ball this defender needs to keep an eye out and it looks like he is checking over his shoulder to see where that defender is see if he's running forward or not so that maybe he could be passed on to this uh, defender or track back based on if this defender is free or not so we'll see what happens as the ball is moved so the ball is way over on the top of the screen now it's being passed back and forth in particular, we know that they're playing zones because when we see when the red players move across the field, like in this situation right here, here that red attacker is running across the field, but as he runs across, he is passed on to the next defender. In other words, they're not marking that man around the field. They're letting that player move in the zones, and they let the player in that zone uh, be aware of where that player is. So that's a sign that uh, they're playing zonally. Also here we look at this movement in the zones. Here was a midfielder that was marking uh, their opposing midfielder who steps up to mark their wing back and then this defender goes with him so those two are defenders are connected 
and they move and they bump up or slide up whatever word you want to use there and they deal with the attack that way so we see that defenders in the same area of the field are connected and they move together as a unit same thing here we see this defender has moved up to pressure therefore this defender that was back there moves up with him defends the next player in that zone and in this case wins the ball here the attacker realizes this forward realizes that the goalkeeper has clear possession so he's just dropping back to get part of his team so they can deal with a long punt keeping the team compact allows them to get good pressure on the second ball and uh, they win because of the foul again we see the team here in this situation is in a good tight <coughs> zonal configuration from the front of the team to the back of the team is small distances and from left to right so essentially they're making the field uh, in this case about 25 yards long and it looks like it would be about 35 to 40 yards wide that's a difficult uh, group to get through they're defending a punt or a goal kick in this case and one of the advantages of playing <coughs> in zones is that when we eventually win the ball we are already in the attacking shape that we want to be in we have key players in the key positions so here when the ball is won in this area of the field we see there's an immediate expanding of their shape players get forward get wide they're trying to get forward this player is running forward and wide this player might come out wide to support so they take the tight defending shape and just expand it and make it bigger when they have the ball it's easier to do this in zones because our defending action we dictate what our shape should be and it's just an easy expansion see how quickly the white team has expanded out